So in module number three, uh, defining the Cisco wireless network architecture. Uh, what we're gonna be talking about in this case is uh, really just kind of understanding all the components that the Cisco wireless network architecture includes. Uh, you know, what kind of network deployment options do I have? What is one management, one policy, one network, right? What is the mobility architecture concept? How do we optimize radio frequency conditions and performance for our clients? We're also going to take a look at our layer two infrastructure. You know, how do we set up the switches and how do we identify the switches that are used? Uh, we'll take a look at the protocols that are also used in a wireless LAN infrastructure uh, to communicate between the, the client and the AP and the AP and the controller and uh, really kind of get into what the specifics are of that uh, communication process. We have a few short lessons throughout here just to kind of identify some of the key components and uh, and then we'll get into the specifics and we'll start to actually, I keep saying this, but we are definitely going to get into the configuration and the setup and everything else. All right. So in lesson number one, we're going to define essentially all of the different wireless network deployment options, uh, how Cisco Unified Access Architecture works specific to wireless network deployments uh, and provides that you know flexibility to give us uh, access to our wireless LAN architecture. A lot of this is very specific to Cisco, um, but that's good. That's why you're here. You're trying to learn about Cisco Wireless. Um, Cisco Unified Access is an intelligent network platform. Uh, it enables connected uh, devices and and uh, enables management of those connected devices in a very efficient way. Uh, we're seeing this big push um, in a lot of businesses today to support things like BYOD, bring your own device, uh, and also the IOE, the Internet of Everything. Uh, we're also looking at intelligently connecting people, but doing it in a secure way. So the Cisco Unified Access Solution, uh, you know, based on what Cisco says, of course, is what integrates and simplifies that intelligent network platform. There are three components to the Cisco Unified Access uh, architecture, if you will. One network, which means we don't treat our wireless network separate from the wired network. Wired and wireless networks are converged into a single unified infrastructure. One policy, world-class policy platforms that allow distributed policy enforcement, but again, not because you're wireless or because you're wired, but because you're connecting to my network. And then one management, a single solution for a comprehensive management and visibility of the system. So the terms themselves, they kind of make sense, right? One network, one policy, and one management. That's the uh, Cisco Unified Access Architecture. Uh, now it's a little bit, uh, kind of a marketing play here, but it does make sense when you really think about it because traditionally wireless has always been kind of treated as an overlay. It's always been a separate entity and it's always had to be managed separately. Cisco Unified Access gives you as an IT administrator, Mike, or tease you, um, a, a way to unify all of that. You have a unified policy for management. The platform adapts to changing needs so you can uh, uh, easily adapt to um, uh, those changes and you can employ a, a single network infrastructure with a centralized policy and uh, manage everything across the wired and wireless network. All right, so again, one network, one policy, one management. Uh, there's uh, cloud-based solutions, right, uh, in this unified architecture. Uh, we have Meraki APs, Meraki switches, and Meraki security appliances. Uh, the, the cloud managed solution, um, that was an ac acquisition obviously from another vendor, but uh, that is one way to implement this unified architecture. Or you can have a premise based solution, UA is the unified architecture. Autonomous network, right, APs are autonomous, they're going to simply run iOS converged or centralized. The converged piece is kind of going away. Uh, they're, they're now starting to focus everything into the centralized space. Converged means that we were running 
you know, wireless components. Like the old, uh, the 3850 switches now you could buy, or at the time you could buy with uh, wireless uh, controller software built into them, right? That's that converged concept. So uh, these are these are kind of some of the, the, the different options that you have. One network means converged wireless and wireless covering the entire network, uh, consistent network-wide intelligence and operations, uh, QoS, analytics, policy, visibility, everything. Um, policy, typically the one policy component, that's gonna be provided by one platform in Cisco's portfolio, the identity services engine, okay? Uh, Mike, being that you're not sure whether or not you're using ICE, that means you're probably not familiar with that product, but uh, ICE is a very, very powerful tool to deliver this one policy solution, regardless of whether or not you're connecting wiredly, um, wiredly, wirelessly or through the wired network. Uh, and then you have uh, management. So this one policy concept, it, it, it's very basic. Right? It's built upon the one network architecture and it is delivered specifically by one component in the network and that is ICE. ICE combines all kinds of functionality. You can see the, the bullet points here, right? Identity and access control. That's kind of your fundamental component, right? Who are you and what are you allowed to do? Identity and access control plus posture, meaning I want to be able to identify um, what your position is in the network, right? Do you have the right antivirus installed? Do you are those as antivirus are the antivirus definitions up to date? Uh, do you, are your Windows patches up to date and so on? Uh, device profiling, provisioning, identity monitoring. Uh, are you a Windows Seven machine? Are you a Windows Ten machine? Um, and of course, this extends to the users as well. Uh, and then guest lifecycle manage as well. All those guest components that we talked about in the previous lesson, uh, that gets managed uh, through this uh, platform as well. Uh, it is a very, very powerful platform to provide this one policy concept. Uh, so we can do basic authentication, basic authorization, device profiling, you know, what type of uh, device are you, uh, device posture assessments. We can even do remediation, by the way, on the posture assessment. So, oh, you don't have the latest uh, virus definitions? Well, here, go here and download those, those virus definitions. And then once you do, check back with me and then I'll do a change of authorization and I'll put you where you're supposed to be. Uh, very, very powerful platform. And uh, when it comes to managing security in a modern Cisco network today, this is the platform that's typically used. If you are kind of following that, that unified architecture approach from Cisco. Building on the one network and one policy, of course, is one management. Cisco Prime Infrastructure is a network management tool that provides that lifecycle management of the entire network infrastructure from one interface. Uh, Prime Infrastructure provides things like um, provisioning, monitoring, optimization, troubleshooting, and it uh, does it across the board as well. It'll provide that for wired networks, for wireless networks, and so on. Um, what are some of the specific things that are included? Uh, obviously, configuration and monitoring of controllers, switches, access points. Uh, it includes the same configuration, performance, uh, monitoring, and security, and fault management for um, multiple controllers, right? So you can manage multiple controllers across the domain uh, multiple access points. It also provides for enhanced automated workflows, uh, integrating best practice standards so that if you're deploying devices in your network, you can create workflows to actually automate that deployment process. Uh, and then you can, you know, manage some of the advanced technologies in your network, like adaptive IPS, clean air technology, VPNs, uh, ZPF, zone-based uh, policy firewalls, uh, scan-safe applications, and so on. Uh, we probably will not get into any of the prime infrastructure components in this class. Uh, we're going to focus most of our attention on uh, the unified architecture. So we're going to talk about the controller. We're going to talk about the wireless access points. We won't spend too much time talking about the ICE platform. Uh, we may mention it uh, a few times. This chapter, we certainly go through some of its capabilities. 
But as far as actual implementation, we won't do that uh, in this class, okay? So Cisco has essentially two approaches for unified access wireless LAN management, premise-based and cloud-based. All right, now I'm assuming that you guys are here because you're primarily concerned about the premise-based management, but we will talk a little bit about cloud-based management as well. I guess the question for a lot of our customers is, what, which solution should I choose, right? How do I decide if, if I want a cloud-based solution or if I want a premise-based solution? Oftentimes that's decided by staffing requirements and knowledge and, and whatnot. If you view the network as a platform uh, and you want to own it and you want to customize it and you want to execute new policies and whatnot, then you probably want a premise-based solution. But if you view your network as a service, just kind of as a, as a required function for your network to work, then you probably want to take a look at a cloud-managed solution. Right? The premise-based solution would, would make use of uh, prime infrastructure, whereas the cloud-based solution in this case would make, make use of the Meraki uh, dashboard. You can use prime infrastructure in that sense, but primarily most people will use the, the uh, uh, Meraki dashboard. So what do the premise-based solutions offer? Obviously the hardware and software is owned by the customer. You can provide the one policy, one management, one network principles very granular control, highly customizable, um, high performance. Uh, there is extensibility through application programming interfaces and software development kits, uh, and you have advanced troubleshooting tools available to you. Cloud managed solutions, uh, the hardware is owned by the customer, but the software is subscribed to. You still have access to the one policy, one management, one network solution, it's just done in a different way, uh, but much simpler deployment and management. Um, and uh, it's really focused on mainstream uses. We're not really doing a whole lot of customization, a whole lot of, of modification. Uh, it is a subscription-based delivery, so that could be beneficial. You, you pay for things as needed, um, and uh, we provide for cloud-based out-of-band management in this case, um, and um, for feature development, you're not really doing that in-house, right? That's being done by the vendor and those things are being incorporated by the vendor. All right. When it comes to wireless LAN deployments, there are five, actually Cisco defines five major types of wireless LAN deployments. Cloud managed, which we just kind of described. Autonomous, which is where we came from originally. In the very beginning of all wireless, uh, everything was kind of autonomous. Flex Connect, we'll talk about that in detail a little bit later on centralized and converged. A lot of people mix centralized and converged. They, they kind of use those terms interchangeably and that's actually not supposed to be the case. They're actually separate. I mean, they're, they're, they're distinctly different deployment architectures from Cisco's perspective. All right, cloud managed, again, as I mentioned before, mid-sized deployment, very turnkey solutions, scales for small businesses. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of IT staff, a lot of operational cost. Autonomous, on the other hand, eh, maybe for hotspots, small enterprises, but it's individual APs. Very simple to, to deploy, very cost effective, depending on the scale, right? If you have lots and lots and lots of access points, it doesn't really work out that well. Uh, centralized is great. That's where you have a wireless LAN controller, the campus environment uh, type of uh, campus type of environment. Everything is centralized. The APs connect to the switches, which connect through the centralized wireless controllers. Now, how is that different from converged, right? Remember I said these were two different and distinctly different things. Converged, Cisco calls this the converged access architecture. It represents essentially the convergence of wired and wireless traffic. Both types of traffic are switched at the same converged access platform. So that functions um, both as a switch and a controller. That's what I was describing before, the 3850 can act as a controller and a switch. Now the downside to this approach is that each switch is kind of its own independent controller. 
uh, and there is no centralized wireless LAN controller. So it's, a, it's, it's not a centralized deployment model. It gives you a little bit more flexibility on how you deploy your access points and whatnot, but Cisco's kind of getting away from this converged architecture. In fact, they are getting away from it. And the new CCIE wireless program doesn't even have converged uh, architecture included in it anymore because uh, um, the cloud-based and the centralized approach has really been what people have, have utilized. FlexConnect, and we will talk a lot more about FlexConnect a little bit later on, is a way of taking a centralized environment and um, kind of mixing that with, I don't want to really say it's autonomous, but kind of mixing that with somewhat of an autonomous environment. Let's say that, for example, you have a, a wireless controller at your corporate office, but you have a lot of branch offices with a couple of different, uh, you know, different um, access points, right? You don't want to route all that traffic from those branch offices over your WAN back to the controller. You want to be able to uh, have that traffic offloaded onto the local switch. So during Flex Connect operation, the wireless LAN traffic is could be tunneled back to the controller. That's what we call central switching in the Flex Connect model, or the traffic is broken out locally at the wired interface. Uh, and and the scenario I described again is where you have a, an access point at a branch office, uh, and you have very a limited bandwidth between the branch office and the corporate office where your wireless controller is. So you offload, you offload uh, the traffic to the local switch, if that makes sense. We will definitely see uh, uh, how to configure Flex Connect and, and how Flex Connect is utilized a little bit later on. So a very, very basic chapter, just talked about one network, one policy, uh, one management. One policy obviously is implemented using ICE. One, um, one uh, management is implemented using prime infrastructure. Talked about cloud-based solutions, the differences between autonomous, Flex Connect, centralized, and converged. Flex Connect, again, something that is used, um, but it's actually used in conjunction with a centralized wireless LAN deployment. So very, very short chapter. Let's move on to the next lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about uh, this one management concept. So we're going to kind of take a deep dive into the management aspect.